In the news, a fortnightly discussion... Boothby's leading role in the first TV talk shows made him one of the most famous men in the country, always armed with a provocative remark. There is nothing more boring than a news bulletin on the BBC unless there happens to be a world war raging at the time. As I got up to him, I was pretty frightened, because I knew he's a fairly formidable character. He rose to his feet, clicked his feet together and said, Hitler! And I, for once, rose to the occasion and I clicked my feet and I put my hand up and said, Boothby! <laughs> As soon as I started talking to any of the people round the craze, they'd all say the same. They'd say, of course, you see, Bob Boothby, he was a friend of Ronnie's. Ronnie used to get him boys. He was always down at East End. We used to call Bob the Queen Mother. Boothby later confessed to Michael Thornton that he'd been acting under duress and that Cray had blackmailed him. He said to me rather pathetically, I can't do anything, I can't do anything, you see, they, they've got too much on me. Leslie Holt told me, quite a long while after all of this, that they had damning photographs.